Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I am Arsenio BJJ and we are bringing you another BJJ breakdown video. This time featuring some Nogi. I was looking at the channel and realized I didn't have a lot of Nogi footage. So I thought this week I would bring some to the channel. And I'm also getting ready for Nogi Worlds, Masters 1, Light, Feather, Purple Belt. So this round is going to be a little bit more intense than I would normally would do with a White Belt. So with all that plug out of the way, let's get into the video. So here we are, we're going to slap bump and immediately start uh, grip fighting right here. So what I like to do in Nogi is I like to grab the back of the head and the tricep just, just for control. Uh, he does outweigh me, so I want to be very careful that he doesn't uh, shoot in and start uh, you know, cutting angles and, and really getting under me. So here I'm kind of keeping my distance. I'm kind of just feeling him out, feeling uh, his strength and his pressure and see, seeing what he's going to try to do right here. I disengage and then I re-engage, uh, just working on that grip fighting right there. Uh, as you can see here, he's going to uh, pull to guard right here, and I immediately start intercepting the guard, uh, the guard pull, and I immediately settle into side control right there. That's something I've been working on, uh, getting into uh, when people pull guard, trying to intercept the guard and immediately get into a passing position. So right here, we reset because we were close to two people that were on the opposite side of the wall. We slap bump again, and I'm going to start standing because I want to work on my passing right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step through right here for the pass, but I'm not able to do it. He uh, immediately starts playing half guard, but I'm able to get around but he has that knee shield I'm trying to work around that knee shield and I'm able to get into side control once again uh, blocking that that far hip and uh, settling into a knee cut uh, into side control so here I'm kind of uh, trying to control his upper half trying to stop him from uh, from bucking me over and immediately what I do is I take my left arm and I go around his head I want to isolate that arm and try to get uh, an Americana from there but he's able to turn and uh, I think he recognized what I was trying to do right there but immediately I go for it again I'm literally just trying to control his upper half and isolate an arm so right here I decide to get my arm back and uh, I immediately sit over to mount and then I sit to my hips and I immediately start attacking the back now right here I cross my legs you're not don't cross your legs <laughs> please don't cross your legs when you're taking the back but right here I wasn't really thinking that he was going to uh, try to ankle lock me and I was uh, able to get the tap right there but here we are we're gonna slap bump and we're gonna go again immediately he's trying to get the back of my neck and I'm gonna strip those grips making sure that he doesn't have a good solid form right here I'm taking a wrestling stance and I'm kind of gauging the distance right here I'm gonna shoot in right here get the double leg cut the angle and get a nice double leg takedown he's got my arm trap so what I'm trying to do right here is I'm going to step up with my right foot and I'm going to gable grip my uh, arms right here to free my arm that's trapped so uh, in doing so he opens the close guard right here I'm trying to long step but I didn't clear that bottom leg and I ended up back into the close guard and I immediately posture up because I don't want to get triangled or anything like that so right here I'm stepping and I'm uh, getting a knee cut pass and I'm trying to control his hips with my right arm but uh, he's got a knee shield so I'm just gonna walk around the guard until I settle into the side control position here so again like I was doing before the first uh, submission is I'm trying to control that upper half of the body making sure that he's not able to uh, buck me off so right here he turns to turtle and I'm able to float on top of him keeping my hooks in and taking the back so what I'm doing now with my right with my left arm as I'm trying to control his left arm right here I'm able to control it and I sit and I immediately start attacking the neck I, I cross my legs again please don't cross your legs uh, I just knew that the choke was in so that's why I did that but that's not what you're supposed to do please do not cross your legs when you're taking the back so here we are we're going to start again slap bump and I'm going to opt to take a seated guard position right here he grabs my leg I don't know if that's two points I think I was already seated and had uh, a grip on him but let me know in the comments if that was two points for him uh, so right here I'm opting to take a half guard I get that underhook and I'm able to get into the dogfight Lucas Lech position right here and immediately get the sweep into side control so now what I'm trying to do is a uh, control uh, control his upper half and uh, just basic control his upper half but he's able to get into a half guard position so I decide to stand up and start uh, passing from the from standing so right here I step through get the knee on belly right here he turns into me to clear the knee on belly but I'm able to keep it on there and uh, and he's able to I try to step over to the other side but he's able to follow me into a half guard position but I'm able to stuff the leg and get into a side control position he tries to turn into me and I'm able to get into a mount position and get like an S mount right here uh, and then I decide just to settle into the mount position 
because he, he's bucking and turning. So I decided to step uh, to settle into the mount. So right here, I'm still trying to I'm still trying to work to the back, but he's, he's doing a good job of stopping me from doing that. So I, I'm just transitioning from side to side right here. Right here, I'm trying to set up uh, a, a Darce choke and I'm able to get my left arm all the way through, connecting it to my right uh, bicep, which you can't really see from this angle. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna get the tap right there. So here we are, we're gonna finish out the last minute of the round. So he's gonna grab my right leg and I sit back and I think that's two points. Let me know in the comments if uh, that is two points for him according to IBJJF. I believe it is and I don't wanna do that in competition. So here I get the half guard sweep into side control but we run into Lucas Rocha and obviously we are going to move because he's the black belt that owns the gym. So here we go, we reset, slap bump. He's gonna opt for grabbing both my feet and I'm going to start playing a guarded position. He tries to pass but I have a knee shield. So right here I get the uh, modified X and I go for the matrix he's obviously he spins which was I was not expecting but I get into a 50 50 position and like I said I like to uh, fight from 50 50 so right here I'm trying to go for the knee bar but obviously we're going to reset right there because he is a white belt and uh, I'm not going to be doing knee bars on white belts it, I was basically just gonna do a catch and release so right here we slap bump we're gonna finish out the last 14 seconds of the round so I'm going to scoot in right here he tries to pass but I have a butterfly hook and I'm able to uh, sweep him over and right Right now I'm going to knee cut right here and just hold into the side control and that ladies and gentlemen is the end of the round so ladies and gentlemen that is the end of the roll a few takeaways now I know please 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 do not cross your legs when you're taking the back you are susceptible to ankle locks from that position and I know I did that a few times in this video and that's something I shouldn't be doing at my level but I knew my chokes were in so I wasn't too worried about him bringing the leg over to ankle lock me but again that's not something you should be doing uh, it's not something I should be doing in uh, at my level of purple belt and uh, you know that's an embarrassing way to get submitted you know you're on the back you're fishing for the choke and then you get submitted from the front because you cross your legs now I would say if you're trapping the arm and you cross your legs over the arm and you have a high cross then it might be okay because they might not be able to bring their foot over the top but uh, that's not something I did in this video obviously I had it crossed pretty low and that's uh, something I'm going to make sure that I don't do in competition because that's embarrassing to get submitted that way and uh, yeah that's the end of the video thank you guys for watching please Please let me know in the comments if him grabbing my leg and me sitting back is two points uh even though i pretty i'm sure i was connected to him i am not sure if ibjjf would count that uh for points for him or not so uh let me know in the comments if that is going to be points for him so i cannot do that in competition and be aware of that so thank you guys for watching and i will catch you on the next one peace